Hey guys, uh, Dylan Craft here from DK Shoots and also Real Time. Um, going to be teaching you guys the basics. Uh, it's going to be a very basic tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. This is the brand new version of Final Cut. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into this beast. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Final Cut Pro 10. <coughs> Uh, this is our basic layout of the Final Cut. Over here we have our libraries, and here we have our video and our audio. Uh, basically all the files that we just pulled from our card will be right here. Very, very nice. Um, a folder down here which will contain all of our keyworded stuff. So we have our videos, and we have our audio. Favorites are not in there yet because we have to keyword them, uh, and so on. So that's really cool. <clears throat> now we're going to go over here and import our media, which I'm already done with. Uh, scroll down here and pick a clip and simply drag and drop that clip into our timeline. Great. So now we have our video clip in the timeline. This tool here is called our skimmer and it zips around here. This is going to show us where we can start or stop our film. Up here we have some tools. Uh, select tool, trim tool, position tool, range, blade, zoom, and hand. Uh, each one has its uh, a shortcut key which cuts down your editing time by a lot. Once you learn your shortcuts, you can just zip to it right off the keyboard instead of looking around all over the place trying to find these position tools or trying to find all of your tools. So I'm going to show you how to cut something. This is called blade, so we're just going to hit the B tool or the B key and cut. And again, cut. Now I'm going to hit A, which positions me back to the tool is that select tool so B and A and now I have control to move this guy now in Final Cut Pro it's kind of similar to iMovie if you guys have used that as to where any clip that is on top of another clip is going to be the clip that shows so we are looking at her on her phone and then we come over here and boom now this clip is in control because it is on top of this clip simple enough okay moving it back down and how I did that was by pressing Command Z, and it just simply put itself back into the place. It were steps, and I deleted those steps. We we're at okay. So over here we have some more tools. This side here is a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun. You can dive deeper into with um, all, everything you're going to be playing around with in Final Cut. So this is called the Inspector window. It shuts down. Don't freak out if it's like this. You just hit this button. And there it is, Inspector. Great. <clears throat> so here we have our video and audio. Um, <clears throat> these are going to be how you can really precisely dive in and tweak things in your video. Um, down here we have our drag and drops, which are very nice. Uh, you can add noise, aged film, um, add in like little little sunspots that's kind of cool so let's do that we're just going to add in some spots drag drop simple as that now let's say you wanted to tweak those well we're going to come up here into our inspector window and we can turn it off we can turn it on great you can change colors change the red I kind of like the red let's go with red so you can kind of give them a little orangish tint that's kind of neat um also you can change your your mode so here we have add and you see that darkens it up a little bit, or subtract, eh, well that doesn't really do it for me. I really like the way it was originally, so let's go to screen. There we go, so that's nice. So now we kinda got these like floaty little dots in here, and it's fitting Sam's mood. Um, over here again, we have a lot of stuff. Each one of these things is um, very important into editing a deeper, getting you know a little bit deeper into Final Cut Pro. Uh, you can always play around with it if there's something you don't like. It's as simple as coming right up here and hitting that button, boom, it's gone. No problems, no worries. But I do like that, so we're going to keep that here. Um, also, we have our photos. This is where your photographs will be, actual photographs. You can drag and drop those in here. If you're going to be doing something like a uh, documentary piece where you know you want to add a, a picture of the kid or something like that, or maybe you're going to do just transitions of all these beautiful photos, this is where you're going to find your footage of that. Right here we have our audio and music. Um, this is all uh, a bunch of kind of built-in sound effects, so this is kind of cool, and they are all royalty-free, 
so we don't have to worry at all about any of the project or any of those you know coming people coming at you. And being, no, you still messed up. No, no, you didn't. Final Cut gives you these. You can use them in any project, paid or unpaid. Uh, right here we have <coughs> transitions. These are what a lot of people really, really like to use. So I'm gonna make a cut and come over here and add in this transition. A lot of it, again, drag and drop. So we're gonna have her go in here. And she got sucked into herself and it's right back in. Um, you'd normally, if you're gonna use a transition, we're going to add in a, another video clip. So just like this. And there we go. That worked a little bit better. So it transitioned from her on the beach to now a beautiful flower. Just like that. Super simple, fun to use. So, all right, I think I'm gonna, s well, we'll keep going, I guess. Okay. So these here are your titles. Um, this is where, this is actually brand new to the Final Cut software is the 3D cinematic titles. My computer has a really tough time doing that, so I might not sh show you guys too much. But the 3D effects are pretty awesome. Um, you got cinematic looks, you got bumpers. These guys are really cool. Really stylize your shoot. Um, it makes it a lot of fun to do. And they're all drag and drop also. So you just kind of drag, drop, boom. And then up in your inspector window, this is where you control your words and your font and all the goodies that come along with that. So that is the basics of Final Cut Pro. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was fast, whipping through things. Maybe too much for you to understand right off the bat. Totally cool. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, if there's something that you didn't quite get in the tutorial and you'd like to me to cover it deeper, I definitely will. Um, Samantha and I both are video professionals and photography professionals who graduated from Century College with our degrees. So if there's anything that you guys can think of that, you know, you have questions or something that you just don't quite understand, hit us up and we are willing to share our information with you. So thank you guys very much for watching and uh, have a great day.